Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've actually got some really cool information on Jurassic World Dominion, given to us courtesy of Jeff Goldblum himself. So earlier today, an article featuring an interview with the man who will be reprising his role as the Chaotician, Jeff Goldblum revealed an extremely cool bit of information about a specific scene that he shot in Jurassic World Dominion. I'm going to read the quote out to you guys directly so that nothing gets taken out of context, but man, personally, this just sounds awesome. The first thing that we shot, it was a scene with me and Laura Dern and Sam Neill, and we were... I can't tell you much, but we were all day in a very tight enclosed space, Goldblum said. You'll see. It's a mystery you'll solve when you see the movie. The three of us were in a tiny little space, and we were being menaced by, I can't even tell you, a surprising faction of prehistoric creatures that you've never seen before. We saw some amazing things. We were acting in a life and death situation, Goldblum said of the scene he shot with Dern and Neil. We think it might be the last moments of our lives, and we're all bonding with each other in an emotional and somewhat hilarious way. Okay, so right there, that's gotten me, like, extremely excited to find out what this scene is. Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, and Ian Malcolm all huddled together in a tiny space where a brand new type of prehistoric dinosaur begins to attack them. All the while, they're all fearing for their very lives. That that to me sounds like one hell of an awesome scene. I can imagine Owen Grady and Claire Deering along with everyone else involved trying to save the three scientists while Lewis Dodson and Biosyn or who knows what are up to no good somewhere else. Basically, this all sounds incredible to me. Now there actually is another piece of information that's been floating around out there that is allegedly coming from the set of Dominion over in Malta. But I want to warn you guys ahead of time before I even go into that stuff. You guys should know by now that I'm not really a big leaker, and I try not to be for a variety of different reasons. Mainly due to Universal's trailers already showing off so much of the story before we even have a chance to see it. However, this particular bit of information is kind of weird, to say the least. And I'm actually not so sure if it's 100% true. So recently Deadline reported that Jurassic World Dominion would be scaling its shoot back in Malta considerably due to some members of the production testing positive for the virus. This information stated that all further shooting in Malta would be reduced to only a second unit team and that Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Sam Neill would no longer be going to the country. Well, recently some new set photos have come out claiming that Chris Pratt was actually in the country along with some practical dinosaur reference materials. So I'll go ahead and warn you guys now, if you don't want to see what these new dinosaurs supposedly look like, you might want to skip ahead or stop watching the video. Keep in mind these two reports are kind of at odds with each other though, so this could turn out to not be legitimate. So what we have here seems to be a dinosaur head stuck on the end of a stick that I guess is going to be used for CGI references later on. Now there is another picture that actually shows a different color variation with the animals, but again, this whole report is kind of at odds with the officially released statement that Chris Pratt will no longer be traveling to Malta, but still, I guess this could be second unit recording Dino Terror somewhere in the city. With that being said, these dinosaur heads are obviously very simplistic in design to what we usually see in the movies. And that's also what we saw get used in Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World. If you go back and look at the lighting references that they used for the Carnotaurus, the Baryonyx, and the Indoraptor, the design and overall make of these props aren't final when they're filming, and they're really just placeholders for what's to come. Still, if we take a look at the bottom of the image here, we can see that this dinosaur happens to have little pronounced pieces of spike protruding from its face. Couple this with how the brows of the animal look, and I'd say that this is more than likely a sign of the dinos being feathered. So what kind of dinosaur is it? Well, I guess it could be something like a Herrerasaurus, or maybe even a Utah Raptor. I mean, it does look incredibly similar to the Kenner toy that was called Ripper back in the 90s. But honestly, it's hard to tell right now. And remember, this may not even be 100% real, since the claim is that Chris Pratt was there as well. So yeah, I guess I'll just pass that off onto you guys. Anyways, I'd love to hear what all of your thoughts are on this new information from Jeff Goldblum. What do you think about the scene he described earlier? And what do you think about these alleged dinosaur designs that we have pictures of? Even if they are real, the design is sure to change considerably when it's finalized at ILM. But I'd still like to hear what you guys think. Now, whatever those thoughts and opinions happen to be, 
I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.